Hello guys, I'm gonna show you a really cool technique that I've been I've been cooking uh, with uh, new nanite displacement and you know painting materials and act actually modeling and UV mapping inside Unreal to to have uh, results like this where you can just paint your details and it's just it's just amazing. So when you take a look at the result like it, it just looks really nice there isn't any seam here everything it just works really well so i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what exactly i'm doing here and how you can how you can do it yourself all right if you want to improve your game development skills make sure to check out our on-demand courses for free you can watch them and get high quality free education and if you are a serious game developer, make sure to check our UNF game development program where you will create a game from scratch and publish it on Steam. So first things first, uh, what you need to do is to go here to project settings and you need to enable virtual texture support. So virtual texture support is checked. Uh, the, other, uh, the other thing that you need to do is to make sure you enable nanite plenty of tutorial for that just go go ahead and let me let me try if i can uh, show in explorer see uh let me see if i can find it show in explorer there you go so i can just go here for environment tutorials config default engine uh, open with notepad and now you will see that our nanite tessellation equal one so that's all you need to do that's all you need to do so for that material uh you will see that i actually have a very simple setup here so i'm just gonna go here this is for uh, uh future course uh i i will put but for now the, the material is really simple i have one material here one material here and what i'm putting is this mesh paint texture object Put it on a texture sample mesh paint texture replace so i can just grab the red channel start painting and by default the value is going to be black so i put it on zero after that i just go to blend material layer blend standard put it on alpha put it on material attributes and that's all you need to do that's all you need to do and now that you have this for, for example i'm gonna i'm gonna go here and start duplicating uh go to modeling transform duplicate and you will see i will lose my painting i can just go ahead and go to here mesh paint and you will see i cannot paint now the reason for that is i have I haven't put add so i just click add paint and now i can just start painting here so you see that i'm actually painting nanite uh, displacement but i don't see it because my new mesh doesn't have nanite enabled so what i can do is to do double click on this enable nanite support and there you go now you will see how the silhouette changes as i paint so i go for mesh paint and click here i can just start painting shift click to erase and you will see that it's actually working quite well now in the properties you will see that i have actually a virtual texture you can actually override the, the resolution for example like 256 and go to fix and now you can have a little bit more resolution. I believe the default is like 128. All right. So a couple of considerations that you need to have for this workflow is that you need to have your UVs connected. Um, the way I did this is go to modeling, do your UVs and go to UV editor. And here I use the tools for sue and lay down and everything to have all my UVs into zero to one space. This is very important. Otherwise, you won't be able to paint uh, because this is painting like in a texture, a virtual texture. It's very important that all your UVs are inside here. Otherwise, you're just going to have uh, duplicated painting somewhere else. So I just use the sue and, you know, uh, transform and everything, make sure everything is nice and nice packed uh, no seams otherwise what will happen is this uh, you're gonna go modeling go to create go to box uh, let's just put something like this and i will put the same material so i will i will put this one here and you will see that uh, nothing 
looks like nothing happened that but that's because i don't have my nanite enabled so when i check on nanite i will click on this let's close this apply you will see that if you have this issue before it's like you have some open seams um you can see i don't have it here i don't have it and there's a lot of work behind that one is that uvs need to be uh you know uh connected that's one thing and another thing is that if you if you let me go here and go to modeling and i go to attributes and nor uh, normals I can just change the normal, for example, like this. By default, it's going to be like this. And you will see that you have open faces here. It's very important that all your normals are in the same uh, poly group. So if you can just increase the size, you will see that you won't have any seam. Uh, I can try to do the same here, but it's not going to work very well. And the reason for that is this is step one. Now you have this one. But the step two is to make the UVs. And because the UVs are not good here, uh, you will need to go to UVs, UV editor, and start connecting everything. All right. And the next thing is obviously have some, some poly groups, some, uh, uh, some bevels like this. For example, I can, I can show you here. If I go here for bevel, uh, let, me, let me find it. Uh, let me find the bevel, bevel, there you go. So I can just go for bevel. So these bevels are really important because you don't want to have straight faces here. And as soon as you do the bevels, you can do your UVs, make sure like everything is connected. And after everything is connected, then you're gonna, you're gonna have a result like this. And you can even like do the modeling tools to, you know, blend, uh, distort this, this mesh and have like different set of, uh, you know, just, just a different set of modular kits. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much the setup. If you want to try it out, uh, I, I highly recommend you to play with it. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really cool workflow. And it's uh, it's not only the material, but also you need to model. Uh, you can see my topology here is very clean. It is it's just a bunch of uh, the same, um, you know, same uh, even squares and bevels to make sure the transition is as smooth as as smooth as possible. So, with that said, uh, I hope you you find useful. Uh, this information and I will see you in the next one.